Hello, everybody. Welcome to this third example in our practice series on perfect Bayesian equilibrium. Without further ado, let's go and get right into it. So this is the game that we are going to solve. It's like our previous two games, just that this time, player two is going to have three actions instead of two. You can pause the video here if you want to go and write out this game tree. So as before, we're going to follow four steps for solving our perfect Bayesian equilibrium. We're going to write this game in an induced strategic form. We're then going to look for all subgame perfect Nash equilibria. We're going to solve for the beliefs that support our perfect Bayesian equilibrium, updating those beliefs whenever possible. And lastly, we're going to define our perfect Bayesian equilibria of this game. So following step number one, we're going to take this game and write it in an induced strategic form. Uh, that is simple enough. Uh, we just go and simply take this game and we put it in this matrix. We're then going to solve for all subgame perfect Nash equilibria. Every Nash equilibria that we're going to solve for here is going to be subgame perfect because in this game, there is no proper subgame. Using the tick and bob algorithm, we find that our subgame perfect Nash equilibria is going to be where player one is playing right and player two is playing M. Now, this is a single equilibrium that we're solving for. And it's important to note that when we solve for perfect Bayesian equilibrium, it's going to be a refinement of subgame perfect Nash equilibrium. Perfect Bayesian equilibrium is going to be a subset of subgame perfect Nash equilibria, and subgame perfect Nash equilibria is going to be a subset of Nash equilibrium. And the reason why we use perfect Bayesian equilibria and why we're so interested in it is because we want to reduce the number of equilibrium. However, in this context, there's only one pure strategy Nash equilibrium. So the question that we want to ask naturally is, well, can we start off here? And I'd say, well, if we're lazy, yes. However, a perfect Bayesian equilibrium is going to be a set of strategies supported by a belief. So we need to still solve for the beliefs uh, that go and support this equilibrium. So we're going to say that the answer to this will be no. Moving on to step number three, because we have to solve for these beliefs for a perfect Bayesian equilibrium and update them whenever possible, is that we're going to calculate the expected payoff player two has at each strategy. So remember, player two is going to have a belief of what player one is going to play at this information set. And the expected payoffs from playing uh, left, uh, middle, and right are going to be as follows, 3p, 2, and 3 minus 1p. So this is our only candidate perfect Bayesian equilibrium is going to be where player one is playing right and player two is going to be playing middle. We're going to solve for the belief that supports this equilibrium. We're going to note that the expected payoff of player two playing M, uh, when comparing that to uh, playing left, that is going to be dominant when P is going to be less than two over three. And for M being greater than R here, that is going to be for every P greater than one third. Thus, the set of beliefs that are going to support uh, this equilibrium is where p is going to be on the interval between one third and two over three. Since player one, though, is choosing right, their beliefs are going to be arbitrary. So there's going to be no updating of player two's p uh, in this case, because player one is just going to be playing right. Lastly, we're going to formally define our perfect Bayesian equilibrium. Our perfect Bayesian equilibrium is going to be where player one is playing right and player two is playing M with our beliefs P being between one third and two over three. And in this case, no equilibria has been dropped since we have a single subgame perfect Nash equilibrium. So this is an example where we're solving for a perfect Bayesian equilibrium where it doesn't quite refine uh, the number of equilibria that we have here. We don't drop any equilibria here. And you might think, well, that's not that great of a uh, solution concept. It's not quite as useful because we get the same answer from our subgame perfect Nash equilibrium. Still, this is how we would solve it. I'll see you guys in the next video where we are going to work through another example. Take care.